He's asking, what kind of training and cool gear are the military police getting into these days? Well, with the battlefield moving into the streets, MPs are learning a whole new kind of urban warfare. If everything you know about the MPs you got from watching movies, then you probably think they spend their time directing traffic and breaking up bar fights. But they do a whole lot more than that these days. In fact, your modern military police warfighter is more likely to be found riding shotgun for a convoy in a foreign hot zone than busting heads in a stateside pool hall. This is the Military Police Training Center at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, where recruits from all four services are schooled in MP techniques and procedure. They also train to proficiency on some of the more effective tools of their trade. And I ain't talking about nightsticks and handcuffs either. Today's MP has a bunch of missions, and each one of them is critical to the security and well-being of our soldiers wherever they're deployed. One of those functions is maneuver mobility support operations where the military police are actually out on the different convoy routes protecting the convoys. A stateside MP wears a standard military issue 9mm sidearm and drives a patrol car like this one. Not much different from local law enforcement. But when the MP soldier is running convoy security overseas, this is his or her patrol car. This is the M1114 highly mobile multi-wheeled vehicle. Basically, the Hummer is just known throughout the world. And it has ballistic armament doors. It has a V8 liquid-cooled super turbocharged engine to give it its kick power. And the most key thing that's saving lives right now in Iraq is a ballistic shield to the front and rear of our gunners. In the past, the gunner's been exposed from basically the hip up, which makes them vulnerable to uh, sniper fire or sporadic fire. In past operations like Desert Storm and conflicts in Somalia and Haiti, patrolling MPs had to leave the windows open to keep from roasting in there. But today's Humvee is air-conditioned, so the MP team can stay cool and safe behind bulletproof glass. The M1114 comes with some other attractive options, like this Mark 19 40 millimeter automatic grenade launcher. Just like a regular hand grenade, it has a kill radius of five meters and a casualty producing radius of 15 meters. The maximum range, we can fire almost a mile and a half with this weapon, so we can actually, you know, engage targets uh, that we can barely see. Or if you prefer, you can mount this bad boy, the M249 Squad Automatic Weapon. It's capable of firing a maximum range of 3,600 meters, about the same as the M16. The difference being that it's fully automatic, this weapon can fire up to 850 rounds in one minute. Another function of the MPs is area security operations. Whether that's a headquarters building, whether that's maybe a fuel dump, an ammo site, things that have proved critical to the uh, mission moving forward. Sometimes that means mopping up and securing urban areas after the infantry's moved on. This is the mount training site at Fort Leonard Wood. Mount stands for military operations on urbanized terrain, and this site is a mock-up of a hostile city. Today, these Marines are getting classes on movement techniques, uh, window entries, upper-level window entries, room clearing, and end result force-on-force -force assault. Recent conflicts, including Operation Iraqi Freedom, have seen urban combat intensify. The job of securing these hostile city areas, as well as conducting HAO, or Humanitarian Aid Operations, or NEO, non-combatant evacuation, falls to the military police. The purpose for utilizing military police as the force of choice for mount or any kind of NEO or HAO engagement is because it frees up the infantry to do their job, and that's the frontline battle. For the smaller skirmishes that happen on the sidelines, clearing out small cities or looking for just the bad guys, utilize military police for that. 